going up to the fishing hole with Miss Dog. Um, gonna try to get some carp, and then if I catch a carp, I'm gonna chop that up for bait, and then try to get me a nice catfish. But uh, I'm gonna strap this onto like my chest mount. Do a little stroll through the woods for you. Parking there. Caught this walleye right on the edge of his freaking lip with a spinner bait. First cast, tell me what. Does the one dollar Walmart spinner bait not beat about anything you can buy? For the price at least, I tell you what. But um yeah, not a bad little wallace. Uh, uh. Not a bad walleye. Got him on the spinner. I'm gonna get him back. I could I could keep that. That's a keeper, but I caught him right on the lip. He'll be able to swim away fine. Didn't hurt his gills, so he'll live to fight another day and get a little bit bigger. See if we can get some more. Suppose I better film a little catch and release with this little booger. Oh, you ready to go back home? Oh, ooh, son of a basket. She went fast. Whoa. Here we are. Doing a little fishing. Hopefully we get some more beggings. I've been trying to uh, catch the hook set on camera, but it always takes me by surprise when I get a fish. This was literally that walleye I got. I was literally the first cast when I put this spinner on and as soon as it hit the water it started thumping and I thought I hit a branch or something but it was that nice walleye definitely a keeper not sure if I'm going to get any more with this spinner bait but hopefully I get a carp or something on my worm pole so I can start catfishing but yeah, I'm going to try to catch a hook set for you on camera, but it ain't easy. But let's see. I'll tune back Here at in the new fishing some. hole. The flood pole. Um, this is where I caught the uh, northern or the walleye the other day. So hopefully I can get another one. Not too bad. Got another little walleye from the flood pole. I don't know if you can see it, but now you stop moving, you old bastard. Uh, oh no! Jesus! Whew. Just like last time, it took it on a two-ounce sinker. I don't know why I've been catching walleyes on big sinkers lately, but. I'll take it. Ugh. What do you think, Marles? Ready to go back home, buds? Not too bad. Alrighty, I uh, changed spots. 
I'm a little bit farther up on the river and I also changed my lure. So I'll show you what I got here. Um, I've made these myself, but I've never bought them pre-made. I actually bought this at Walmart, I believe. And it's a one ounce sinker on a little three-way swivel with your hook on one end, which I have a night crawler on. And then it swivels out to the one ounce sinker. And I've made these before to catfish with, but I've never bought one, so I'll see how this one works. But um, I'm gonna try to catch a carp here and then chop it up and catfish with it, but hopefully I can get a hook set on one of these carps out here. I'll tune back in if I get one. All right, just gotta cast it in here. Move back down the river again. They seem to be a little bit more active down here, so I'm gonna keep it filming for a second. Try to get a hook set. I have way too big of a hook on here right now too. And it's like the smallest one I have. So I'm having trouble set setting the hook because it's probably some small carp. But that is exactly what I'm looking to catch. Alrighty, oh shit. We're hooked into something. I don't know what we got here. I don't know if the camera, oh! What in the hell? I got walleye fever lately. Holy crap. Look at this. That's all I have been catching lately is the greasy old walleyes. I don't know how. This girl, I hooked in the gills. I hooked him a little deep, so I'm probably gonna keep it. It's definitely a keeper. And it's, now it's bleeding, so I really don't want to let it go. So I'll probably end up keeping this one. But not a bad walleye. Not too bad at all. Caught it on a big old one ounce sinker and a big huge hook and a night crawler. Trying to fish for carp. Jesus, not a bad fish. Look at the teeth. But yeah, I'm gonna get this on hook. Oh, got this one on a stringer. This is why I am definitely keeping this walleye. I literally just caught him and you could see the blood coming from his gills. And he's not really even swimming around. So this would just be a wasted fish to throw back. I like to catch and release as much as possible, but if I end up gill hooking a fish or something and it's not, you know, that small, this was definitely a keeper but I probably would have let him go if it was a clean hook. But since uh, I accidentally hit, got him in the gills, he really swallowed it. I'm gonna eat the little guy, but it'll go to good use and it'll definitely be tasty. What do you think, messes? Alrighty. This is just starting to fucking blow my mind now. This is yet one second, let me get it on hooked. A yet another walleye on the old three-way uh, swivel. Another good one. And I swear, I'm not catching the same damn fish every time. I'll go down and hold up the one I have on the stringer. See here is my stringer fish, if you can see this. Here's the walleye on the stringer. They're actually about the same size. But this guy, I hooked right in the lip clean. And he's a little bit small, so I'm gonna let him go. But the, the one on the stringer, I hooked him right in the gills. He's bleeding real bad. He ain't moving and he wouldn't swim away, so I'm gonna keep him. This one I'm gonna throw away, but hot walleye action on the cedar. What can I, what can you say about that? Not a bad day, but let's let this old girl go. See, she took right off. Oh, this old girl ain't so lucky. 
but uh, I have a little bit more bait left and I'm gonna fish with that and then get this girl home before it uh, starts heating up it's still alive it's just not moving at all its gills aren't working so I'll clean this one up a little later try to get a few more fish but not too bad good day for me good day fishing I don't know what the hell I got here but it feels big I don't know what this is, but it feels big. It feels really big. What is it? Oh my God! Yes! Yes! What the hell? Holy shit! Woo! Woo! -hoo -hoo! Whoa! That is a pig. That is an absolute pig. Holy shit! Oh, he's pissed. He is pissed. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the biggest. And I'm probably gonna I let have... it go. Cause I hate keeping fish this big. I like keeping the little ones. Look at that mouse shot. He ate her. I don't know. I don't know what I should do here. We'll see. Well, I am back at the homestead with my uh, big old walleye. Got it sitting in the uh, wheelbarrow right now. Uh, I did kind of a just a quick quick measurement on it, and I think it's like it's a little over 20 inches. I haven't. Once I flay it, I'm going to get the real measurement. But my record right now is 22, so I don't think I'm going to quite beat my record. But still a really nice walleye, and it is fat. For around here, there's not, not a lot better walleye you can get. But um, yeah, I'll uh, take another video when I measure it and get the uh, actual measurement of it. And then um, I'll probably actually go back out fishing once I'm done flying it and try to get some more. Well, got the uh, fish cleaned, made the way back down to the fishing hole. Got old E Money with me. He cleaned the old dirty old walleyes for me. Best we can. What do you got to say? Oh, got that dirty old steak fixed up for you. Not too bad. Not too bad. So we got. Elijah out here fishing now. Got Miss Dog. I got uh, my pole casted in over here. And who who do we got for a special guest today making a guest appearance, huh? We got dirty old Greasy Bloom Squid. It's the Bloom Squid. <laughs> <laughs> gonna catch me a fish tonight. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're gonna catch some more fish for you, hopefully. But if not, at least I got that hog earlier. But gonna try to get some more. Well, boys and girls, I was on the uh, I was on the phone when I caught this. But look at this, a nice channel catfish. What do you know? Not very big, but uh, I'll take it. I will definitely take that a little hot fish. Damn, action. yet another good walleye out of the cedar. Not too bad. Try to get oh, some yeah. more. Oh yeah. Got hooked into something. Probably a tiny little catfish. What is it? Oh, little walleye. Fucking right. Friggin' right, buds. Not too bad. Just been slamming. Hot walleyes all day, every day. And I'm not complaining one bit. Oh, nice big old carp. Yes. What do we got here? Greasy old dirty river carp. Not too bad. Not too freaking bad. Look at that. Greasy old carp. Fuck you, Norm. Why did you cast on top of my line? Yeah. Oh, I think I can get it in. I got something. I got something. What is it? 
What is it? Walleye goddamn fever. Jesus. These things are just breeding this year or something. I don't know. What did you do, Boardman? Damn you. What, were you trying to cast on top of the fish I was catching and catching? <laughs> Elijah! With the catch. Get up here so we can get a close-up, buds. Oscar de uh, the river is yielding. Oh, it is yielding dinners, lunches for days today. That is a beaut on the bluegill pattern. <laughs> what is that, a jerk? Uh, it's a little... Or what, what do you even call that? It's a little... Mizgatu fucking Ooh, she got a little curve in it, don't it? Oh, not yeah, too much. It's a little not minnow too much. Shape. It's like it's a Ooh, trout hold pattern. that up. That's a Cedar River Smalley. Boys and girls, squirrels, gals, pals, and all around. Pose with her. Now do a curtsy. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, thank you very much for the catch. And now we'll film a little release. A little release. Thank you, girl. Beautiful. Oh, Ooh, tiny. beautiful. Nice. Pulling up on the last spot that I'm going to try fishing today. And who knows? Might get something big. Oh. Got a little hot footage of Ashton here. What do you got, buds? Just a little one, but I caught one. You caught one. Stop catching fish in front of me. I can't. That's what I do. Yeah, greasy old sango old rig. Man, dirty old swamp bass. A dirty old stinky old dirty rotten swamp bass. Who would have thunk it? Dirty. Ooh, swamp hold bass. her up for the friggin' camera. Do a curtsy, Ashton. Do a curtsy. Damn. Well, I don't yes, know if you sir. can see this, but I got me old dirty old flapping slimy old bullhead. Greasy old bullhead. Oh, he's about hit myself in the face. Right in front of the old Nashua Dam. What do you think, E-Money? That was a dirty catch. Catching the fish. Old dirty river. Oh, she's pooping and she's stabbing him. Yeah, she's pooping and stabbing. Oh, oh. should have just threw it at the dam. Shouldn't have released her like that. I hate dirty old bullheads. Yeah, don't need those anymore in the river. They're um, dirty. Dirty old greasy fish. <laughs> well, I don't know if you can see anything here, but uh, sitting in the car with Miss Frog Dog. Just got done fishing at the dam. Uh, I ended up catching that one bullhead, but I think that's about it for today, boys. But I got that huge walleye, a bunch of other smaller walleyes. One of my buddies got a bass, smallmouth, all kinds of fish in action today. I think it was pretty successful. But uh, tune back in next time we do some more fishing. But this is a good day for me. Peace out. I've got a few fillets seasoned up with some blackening spice from uh, the walleyes I got earlier. Flayed up by Elijah himself. See yes, it was. See what the chef's conference can do with these bad boys. And I'm going to put a little broil on them, and we'll see if they're any good. I'll show you when they're done. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of blackened. A little bit of blackened walleye. Some chili powder, smoked jalapenos, salt, pepper. A little pinch of curry powder, put her under the broiler for about 3-4 minutes. I tell you what, it is delicious. Thumbs up, what do you think, bud? Oh yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs>